of a, a box, you know, to make them lean up. And I won't get into VFDs that heavily on some of this stuff, you know. Er, er, you know, it's pretty much 28240. All this stuff can actually be done to them. We have a wizard online that you can select drives. A lot of people get scared of drives, it seems like, the mechanical side. They want to leave it to the electricians or different things. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think drives are very, very simple. I mean, nothing major. Setting them up and stuff. But, um, we do, we are going to be offering, I think it's going to be in May, um, in this area, that's a, uh, a VFD startup uh, training class. It's a couple day class. Um, all about VFDs, how to set them up, how to start them up. Um, so it's really good. Yeah, on these VFDs. And really, if you go to it, it kind of helps you with understanding VFDs in general. So it's kind of nice. Um, but it's, it's going to be here, I think it's going to be in May. And I, I won't get, um, we may be doing it here. So I forgot Surprise. the date. <laughs> you need to make room. <laughs> Let's lose, that's our time for time. Put away all the time of your controls. I, I'm skipping these first few slides because it's our old style and I just wanted to get to the new style. One of the, the bigger things, again, is our controllers, you can actually have the VFD sit right on its local bus, which is kind of nice because it, so it doesn't eat up your I.O. or anything else. And these are the points that can be seen right through um, that get posted right up to the front end. All these points, which is really everything you would really need, you know, whether the drive command, whether it's on or off, the speed, um, you know, if the bypass has been enabled, you know, kilowatt hours, motor speed, speed set point, fault codes. So all that stuff gets served right up over the SA bus without even adding points, you know. So it's kind of nice. Um, again, I don't think there's anything I really want to talk about there. Next generation of drives. Here's the new look. Um, again, even smaller, prettier, you can tell. Uh, NEMA Type 1, NEMA Type 12. Uh, some new, other new features they added they have EMI and RFI filters are standard on all drives. Um, the other things is um, now we have the, the footprint smaller, battery backup real time clock uh, with PLC functions which was what we kind of had before. You could actually do your own control uh, scenarios within the drives. Now you can do even more um, with some independent fit loops so you can actually control. If it's an old pneumatic air handler, say, and you don't want to change out the controls, but you want to change out the VFDs, um, you could change out the VFD and then just do a pit loop and put on a you know, differential pressure transmitter to control the VFD without changing the pneumatics. Um, Supported protocols, the BACnet MSTP, our SA bus, N2 bus, Modbus, uh, and then Ethernet, Modbus, TCP, and then BACnet IP. So all of those are available now. We've changed the, the display look and stuff than what we had before. Uh, different languages, removable keypad, which we always had before, but now they're just easy for reading. You know, you can set up trends, monitoring, and that kind of stuff, so which is kind of nice on a on an application. Maybe you don't have a front end and stuff to where you can actually set up trends and stuff like right within the uh, the VFD itself. Let's find out what's going on with the VFD. There's additional I/O, um, as you can see, quite a few of the DIs and DOs. Um, any of your monitoring stuff that you'd want to monitor. And we also have long too. Again, these can set on the SA bus. That's the biggest thing. Or, you know, you can see more now they're BACnet MSTP, which is kind of neat, or the BACnet RN2, regular BACnet. One of the big things, too, that uh, Johnson's added, which I, I think it's kind of nice, um, and with, not only with our controllers, our controllers can actually save energy without a front end. 
And now the BFDs are really kind of set up to do this too. These new uh, drives, um, they can actually uh, provide some additional, you know, up to 10% energy savings uh, just within the uh, how it's being controlled, the fan is actually being controlled. So that's pretty slick. You can actually save the energy there. So just right there, energy saves percentage just out of the box. Don't ask me how they do it, they do it. Well, well. Um, that's why we're gonna have a full day class on this. Oh, but okay. Yeah, the, they have a way of how they're actually running and ramping up the, the motor. And the times it does it, it monitors everything it's doing when it's running. And certain times and everything on, they can do it based on amps and all the other stuff. So. Wow. Talk about squeeze a water out of the rock. Yep. I think it's hot. Well. So the next generation, uh, well, in telepass, so we have them, you know, with bypass or without. Um, so we have both series of drives. Um, you know, it's it's got this built-in HVAC bypass software and active energy control, energy savings algorithm. Uh, the different enclosures are all available. Uh, this is where it goes to the start going to the rain type enclosures and stuff. Again, we just put them in a box. And you can see there it's just the rain type of NEMA 12 or whatever, uh, 3R enclosures. And then we just put the bypass inside. Uh, let's get those. We also have new micro drives. Um, which you can use them for unit vents, you could use it for all, all different types of applications. You wouldn't believe how many unit vents now they want variable speed fans on them, um, even for unit vents. But the other big things about this, and I'll show you here, it's coming up. Um, again, uh, they're both single and three phase devices. Wow, no single phase? Yeah. I already have a lot of people that were different contractors and different ones I've shown. So a lot of people already want me to get demos of these things free for them. And I keep wondering what the heck's going on. Why does everybody want them free? Because they want to do this. They want 115 volt single phase input and make a 230 three phase output. So I don't know if they're controlling rooftop condensers or tanning beds in their home. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, or maybe, maybe they got some area that they're trying to power up some generators or stuff. I, I'm not sure. I mean, you can do that. So you got, it's 115 volt single phase input and convert to 230 three phase output. 50, 60 or so. Um, so we have the quarter through uh, one and a half horsepower, quarter through three horsepower, um, and then the half through 10 and the, the 480 uh, three phase, and then plans and expand up to 25 or so. Still on the SA bus, still with bus requirements? Or? Uh, these, oh, geez, I'm not super sure. There's only a few, few protocols. Uh, let's see if it shows here. Uh, up in there. Yeah, I'll have to check on that. Okay. For some reason, I think it was uh, BACnet and Modbus, but I don't think it's got the SA bus. I need the load. Anything on drives? Again, drives, um, you know, if you guys have a project and you want to, uh, you know, you need some competitive pricing, just get with Andy. I can't feel pricing before. <laughs> no, get, get with Jackson and Andy, um, anybody. Um, ask them if, you know, if, if, they're, if you are competing against some of the other ones out there or something and you've got a big job or something, let me know and we can see what we can do for you. We're going to move drives. That's my goal. Okay, moving on even farther. Um, there's that from the phase. Yep. Connected community. Um, this is what I was talking about. Um, uh, the, everybody, really, if you're going to be using the Johnson FX stuff, you really probably should get into this. I mean, you don't, it's not like you have to be on it every day or anything like that. You can get onto it whenever you want to. Uh, post questions, ask things, uh, get to literature, all those kinds of things. And I know it's kind of hard to see this screen. So I'm actually going to go live here in a second.